In the month of Safar of the year 1405 after Hijra, 1984, the inauguration of the greatest center for the printing of the glorious Quran in Al Madina Al Munawwara, the cradle of Islam, was announced. It was named King Fahad Glorious Quran Printing Complex, and the Mus'haf printed therein, according to the various accepted readings, has been named Mus'haf Al Madina Al Nabawiyya. It is the gift of the custodian of the two holy mosques to the Muslims all over the world. This Mus'haf has gained widespread acceptance in all parts of the Muslim world on account of its great excellence in both the scholarly and technical aspects. The first Mus'haf published by the complex and its printers was in the year 1405 after Hijra. It was according to the reading of Hafs and Asim. It was written by the calligrapher Uthman Taha in a Naskh style and was revised by a scholarly committee of a very high standard. Later, the complex wrote a new Mus'haf, which was also according to the reading of Hafs and Asim. It was published in the year 1422 after Hijra. It was also written in the Naskh style, which is the most amenable style of writing and therefore the most suitable one for writing the Quranic text. And this Mus'haf is exceptional because of its marvelous calligraphy that is very comfortable for the eyes. The Quranic letters therein have a great degree of clarity. Its revision and careful examination was carried out by the scholarly committee for revising Mus'haf al Madina and Nabawiyya according to the accepted readings. The revision was carried out in five stages. The first stage is revising what the calligrapher has written before adding the dhabt. This is done by members of the scholarly committee who verify that the Quranic text is free from mistakes and that it conforms to the Uthmanic orthography in all its aspects. The second stage is the revision of the Quranic text after adding the dhabt. The scholarly committee now examines the Quranic text word by word with respect to the vowel signs and other signs of dhabt according to the reading in which the mushaf is written. The committee also checks the numbering of the ayat and their sequence, page numbers, signs indicating the division of mushaf into ajza, parts, ahzab, etc., the signs indicating the ayat requiring prostration, and so on. The third stage is the stage which spelling check is carried out. It is of immense importance because it covers all that is connected with the Mus'haf. The committee in this stage is divided in two groups, one reading the text and the other listening to it. Each word is spelt and each letter of the word is read along with its vowel sign. This is done from the beginning of the Quran to its end. The fourth stage is to review the copy made by the montage department in the original after the spelling check stage. Specific pages of the copy are shared among the members of the committee so that the entire mushaf is read from the beginning to the end. If after all these stages no mistakes are discovered, the committee decides that the mushaf under scrutiny is perfectly suitable for printing. The fifth stage the committee once again revises the printed copy before it is allowed for distribution. It should be noted that revision in some of the advanced stages is repeated, and thus sometimes making a total revision of more than a hundred times of the complete Mus'haf. There is a department in the complex known as Product Control Department. It embraces a number of units, namely Text Control Unit, Unit of Quality Control on Production Lines, and final control unit. The work of these units is considered complementary to that of the scholarly committee. With the help of Allah, the King Fahad complex has been able to print the Mus'haf in five different readings up to the year 1431 after Hijra, 2010. These are Mus'haf according to the reading of Hafs and Asim, Mus'haf according to the reading of Warsh and Nafa, Mus'haf according to the reading 
of Qalun and Nafi'a. Mus'haf according to the reading of Ad-Duri and Abi Amr al-Basri. Mus'haf according to the reading of Shu'bah and Asim. Work is currently in progress for printing Mus'hafs according to all the ten accepted readings. We ask Allah, the Most High, to recompense the government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, headed by the custodian of the two holy mosques, His Royal Highness, Crown Prince, His Royal Highness, the Second Deputy Premier, with the best reward for disseminating the Book of Allah. Had we sent down this Qur'an and a mountain, you would surely have seen it humbling itself and rent asunder by the fear of Allah. Such are the parables which we put forward to mankind that they may reflect. لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون 